In the previous video we introduced the concept of vector projection, so this video will be about vectors and vector spaces, and we are on the section of vector projection. So vector projection of a vector u onto v, we pick a vector u and v in the vector space Rn, where v is not zero. The vector projection of u onto v is u times v dividing the norm of v squared times v. Okay, and we saw in the previous video that this concept uh, is the same as the usual vector projection that we are used in physics. In this video, we are going to take a, a very simple example. So we pick this example of vector u and vector v. They are both obviously in R3. Okay, and we are going to see what is the vector projection of u onto v. Okay, so that will be u times v dividing v squared times v, right? Okay, we need to calculate u times v. So u times v is 4, easy to calculate. v squared is 45. Okay, so what we have here is u times v, 4, dividing 45. And now we have vector v. And vector v is 2, 5, 4. Okay, so what we have here is, so 4 times 2 is 8, dividing, uh, not square, there's no square root here, stupid. Okay, so 4 times 2 is 45, 4 times 5 is 20, dividing 45, so that will be 4 over 9, and this 4 times 4 is 16, dividing 45. Okay, so this is the projection of vector u onto vector v. So we got this uh, vector. So the, uh, in the projection we get a vector. A question that sometimes comes out. What about if u times v, when you do u inner product, u times v, you get a, a negative value. Well, that's a good question, because that means that the projection of u onto v will be in the opposite vector. Uh, so if this is vector v, okay, so the, 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 the projection will be in the opposite direction of v. Okay, if you get this value, this negative value here. 